This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Storage Spaces was introduced with Windows Server 2012, and what it did, it allowed us to take a, a bunch of disks that were in a server or in an enclosure that was directly attached to a server, like a SAS enclosure, and instead of using a RAID card to get some redundancy and combine the disks for total capacity, Storage Spaces allowed us to take all these disks, add them to a storage pool, and then from that storage pool we could create a virtual disk and when we did that it would allow us to use an aggregate amount of space so if let's say all these gig, all these disks were 100 gig disks so we've got one two three four we've got eight total so 800 total gigs of space well with storage spaces I could add all these disks to a pool that would give me 800 gigs in my pool and then create a virtual disk that was let's say 600 gigs in size so the operating would see that virtual disk and then I could create a volume on that virtual disk of you know the full size of the virtual disk like 600 gigs or I could create a 300 gig uh, volume and on that volume I could select a resiliency type which would allow for redundancy so I could have a disk failure and I would still have my data I wouldn't lose my data so that was pretty cool uh, but it was for a single server only so in comes Storage Spaces Direct, and if you're familiar with VMware vSAN, it's, it's very similar. So what Storage Spaces Direct is going to do, it's going to allow us to pool disks, internal disks, or disks that, that again attached to a SAS enclosure that are, are basically directly attached to the server. They're not shared. It's going to allow us to pool all of these. So I've got four here, for example, four servers, and eight disks in each. That's 32 disks total. It's going to allow me to put all of these disks in a pool and then create a virtual disk from all the disks and it will spread the data out across the servers or enclosures so that we can have an enclosure failure or we can have some a disk failure or multiple disk failures depending on the resiliency type that we pick and all, when we do this all these servers will be in a cluster and storage spaces direct is really designed uh, really to store virtual machines either in what's called a hyper converged uh, scenario where each one of these servers is also a hyper v host or we create a scale out file server out of the storage that is a cumulative of all the disks and we have another hyper v cluster and that cluster is using this scale out file server to store its virtual machines because what we'll do is we'll actually create a clustered shared volume out of the volume that was created from the virtual disk and the data will live again on all these servers combined so one server might have a copy of the data this server might have a copy of that same data it will basically be spread across all these disks and because it's a clustered shared volume it's shared storage but it's really not shared storage because it's internal but that's what Storage Spaces Direct does. It allows us to take all of these disks, make a storage pool out of it, create a virtual disk, create a volume, and then from that volume create a clustered shared volume that we can use to store our virtual machines or uh, create a scale-out file server so another Hyper-V cluster can store its virtual machines on it. This way we don't have to have like an expensive SAN in order to utilize clustered shared volumes with a Hyper-V cluster we can do it with all internal storage for example we can go over here and I've got this already set up and we'll see exactly how to set this up but here's a clustered shared volume and this is actually from storage that is internal to four separate nodes of a cluster and if you want to learn a lot more in depth about clustered shared volumes and Hyper-V and Hyper-V clusters, please see the Windows Server 2012 R2 Hyper-V Training Intermediate to Advanced on ITDVDs.com. As of the making of this movie, we don't have our Windows Server 2016 Hyper-V Training yet, but we will. So if that's already made, please see that Server 2016 Hyper-V Training to learn more about clustered shared volumes, creating clusters uh, with Hyper-V, and managing those clusters.